Kelly, the departments are prepared to different extents, but all agree crude oil is extremely dangerous and an accident could be catastrophic. The trains in question would run through major urban areas and after recent disasters elsewhere, training is kicking into high gear. Valero is hoping to run crude oil trains through a stretch of Northern California that includes Roseville, Sacramento, West Sacramento, and Davis. Aware of the hazards that come with this type of transportation, local fire departments are training for a potential emergency. When we saw a series of events take place in succession, the every departments across the country said this is a, a threat that's coming through our neighborhood and we need to address it. Most prominent among those disasters, a 2013 crude oil train derailment in Quebec that killed 47. Sacramento Fire Captain Jerry Apodaca heads two hazmat response crews that would lead the way in an emergency. It becomes a very large fire problem. And then secondary to that, you have that huge column of toxic smoke that's billowing out from that fire. In a 2014 safety alert, the U.S. Department of Transportation stated Bakken crude oil's flashpoint is below 73 degrees Fahrenheit. That means the materials pose significant fire risk if released from the package in an accident. In Roseville, the fire department is across from the largest rail yard on the west coast. There are small amounts of crude oil currently being transported through here by rail, but this would increase it by 100 cars every day. The department isn't taking any chances. We spent probably the last year developing a countywide response plan. Uh, we've sent our crews to both in-state and out-of-state uh, you know, schools on the subject, so we're, we're constantly preparing for that. Preparing, knowing accidents can happen anywhere the trains run. These trains would ultimately end up in Benicia at the Valero refinery. Tonight, that city's planning commission is expected to vote on whether or not to allow the refinery to expand, which would allow the trains. That meeting is still ongoing. So, Tom, if this happens, then these trains are going to go through several major cities. Are we talking about going through the outskirts of these cities or right through where the heart of the population is? Well, in several cases, we found that the trains would run right next to downtowns. In our area, it's estimated 500,000 people live within a half mile of the tracks.